Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bible with Dr. Daily Dawa. Last time, Bible chapter Z, we look at chapter 14 of Numbers. The people rebel, but today we'll be looking at chapter 15 of Numbers. The supplementary blah blah, blah offerings. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, After you enter the land I am giving you as a home. You present to the Lord food offerings from the herd or flock as an aroma pleasing to the Lord, whether burnt offerings or sacrifices, for special vows or free will offerings, or festival offerings. Then the person who brings an offering shall present to the Lord grain offering of a tenth of an ephah, of the finest flour mixed with a quarter of hine of olive oil, with each lamb for the burnt offering of a sacrifice. Prepare a quarter of a hin of wine as a drink offering. With the ram, prepare a grain offering of one fifth of an ephah of the finest flour mixed with a third of hin of olive oil, and a third of hin of wine as a drink offering. Offer it as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. When you prepare a young bull as a burnt offering or sacrifice, for a special vow or a fellowship offering to the Lord, bring with the bull a grain offering of three tenths of an ephah of the finest flour. Mixed with half a hind of olive oil, and also bring half a hin of wine as a drink offering. This will be a food offering and aroma pleasing to the Lord. Each bull or ram, each lamb or young goat, I mean, early Harlan, Harlan, is to prepare in this manner. Do this for each one, for as many as you prepare. Anyone who is native born must do these things in, the way, in this way when they present a food offering as an aroma pleasing to the Lord. For the generations to Come. Whenever a foreigner or anyone else living among you presents a food offering as an aroma pleasing to the Lord, you must do exactly as I do, as you do. The community is to have the same rules uh, for you and for foreigners residing among you. This is a lasting ordinance for the generations to come. You and the foreigner shall be the same before the Lord. The same laws and regulations will apply, apply to both of you. And the Presiding among you. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, When you enter the land to which I am talking, taking you, and you eat the food of the land, present a portion as an offering to the Lord. Present an oath, I mean a loaf, from the first of your ground meal and present it as an offering from the threshing floor. Throughout the generations to come, you are to give the offering to the Lord from the first of your ground meal. Offering for unintentional sins. Now, if you as a community unintentionally fail to keep any of these commands, the Lord gave Moses any of the Lord's commands to you through him from the day the Lord gave them and continuing through the generations to come. And if this is done unintentionally without the community being aware of it, then the whole community is to offer a young bull for a burnt offering as an aroma pleasing to the Lord, along with it's prescribed grain offering and drink offering. A male goat for a sin offering. The priest is to make atonement for the whole Israel community and they will be forgiven but it was not intentional and they are presented to the Lord for their wrong of food offering and a sin offering. The whole Israelite community and the foreigners riding among them will be forgiven because all the people were involved in the, in the unintentional wrong. But if just one person sins unintentionally, the person must bring a, f a year old female goat. The priest is to make atonement before the old Beth Mead. That's one player. And before the Lord for the one who erred in sinning unintentionally. And when atonement has been made, the person will be forgiven. One and the same law applies to everyone. Who sins unintentionally, whether a native born Israelite or a foreigner residing among you. But anyone who sins defiantly, whether native born or foreigner, utters blasphemy against the Lord and must be cut off from the people of Israel, because they have despised the Lord's words and broken his commands. They must surely be cut off, their guilt remains on them. The Sabbath breaker put to death. While the Israelites were in the wilderness, a man was found gathering wood on the Sabbath day. 
those who found and gathered in root brought him to Moses and Aaron and the whole assembly, and they kept him in custody because it was not clear what should be done to him. The Lord said to Moses, The man must die. The whole assembly must stone him outside the camp. So the assembly took him outside the camp and stoned him to death. As Lord commanded Moses, that's fucking brutal. That's fucking, that's brutal shit, bro. Rest in peace, bro. Taste seals on the garments. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, Throughout the generations to come, you are to make tassels on the corners of your garments with a blue cord on each tassel. You will have these tassels to look at, and you will remember all the commands of the Lord that you may obey them and not prostitute yourselves by chasing off the lust of your own hearts and eyes. Then you will remember to obey all my commands and will not be and will be consecrated to your God. I am the Lord, your God, who brought you out of Egypt to be your God. I am your Lord. Amen. My brothers, do not last. Thank you all for listening. It's been a pleasure. I am the Daily Turbo. My friends, you know what time it is. I know what time it is. Oh, 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 oh. It is.